Hello, what is up you guys? My name is Special one and welcome back to Stardew Valley. The extremely nice and wonderful time of just chilling out on the farm. Oh, day 11 and now and stuff like that, so I did have a little clip that I probably put before this started. I hope I did that right in transitions and editing and all that fun stuff that I do and post. <laughs> But yes, I want to play some more Stardew Valley. Uh, I know you guys have been getting bombarded with Star Wars for me lately. Especially right after, like, before Reaction Week and then right after Reaction Week. And I stagger it every other day. But look, I'm making pretty decent mud. Alright, let's go. Let's go check the boob tube, see what's on. Living off? Nah, it's Fortune Tower. Good fortune. Okay, good. Uh, living off land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with yet another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Woes from crows. Sounds like you need a scarecrow. Place a scarecrow on your farm deters crows from pre pretty good at this. Make sure you protect your valuable crops. One more thing. Need a bigger backpack? Hold, hold on to your stuff. Check your local general store. I'm trying to. I need $2,000 to get that backpack. I was hoping to have... Oh wait, I forgot to check the uh, weather for tomorrow. Uh, It's going to be clear and sunny. Okay, thank you. But yeah, I set myself up a little tense around my crops. I got me beans going. I got me some pretty good stuff. I lost my favorite axe. Sure, I'll just do this. Yeah, I got myself a little fenced in area. I got all my parsnip. I fertilized my soil too, by the way. So that way I can get some better crops. Oh, that's nice. Stand on my parsnips to water my parsnips. They're the cheapest crops, so I'm going to have the most of them. My more valuable, expensive crops, such as cauliflower, potatoes, beans, all that stuff, I'm going to have less of because they're more expensive. They cost more to grow. There we go. Yeah, I got my scarecrow. Scared off. Ooh, scared off three crows. Hell yeah. But yeah, I've cleared away a good chunk of stuff here. Just been steadily doing it as I've been doing other stuff. But there's a main reason why I wanted to record this episode. And that's because, number one, this game is wholesome as all hell and I love it. It's a wonderful little game, especially just to play around in your pastime, just to chill. And it's something just so satisfying and clearing me. Just so satisfying. Oh, what the? Oh! It's the Adventurer's Guild. That's right. I have to go in here first. Okay. Hmm. Howdy. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. It's been a dark place, understandable for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Da -da -da -da. You received a rusty sword. Name's Ballin', by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might make you think about making you a member. Thank you, Marlin. I really just wanted the sword because I need to move stuff around. But yes, I wanted to activate this so I could be able to actually... Out of order. So that way I could do stuff. Ooh, everything seems to be working. Big axe isn't strong enough. Alright. Moving on. All right. Or for days, or for days. There's the copper. Oh, come on. Where's the dang thingy? Ah, there it is. Ah, 
There you are. Come here. Have at thee, vile demon. Ow. Please, 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 please just come on. There you go. <laughs> Tap. Oh, hello. Come at me, vile demon. You'll stand no chance against my blade of fury. Wow, I killed you. <laughs> More copper ore for me. Nothing! It was completely worth it! <sighs> Nothing. Eat the leak! Gulp! Oh yeah, guys. As much as I want to mine some of this ore, I really need to get out of here. Oh no, I have to mine some of it because there's no stairs. Oh, why didn't you give me an elevator? Ooh, what's that? Dag, nabbit, my inventory's full. Okay, well, I don't need one sap. There we go. Amethyst! Hey, I needed that for somebody. And that's probably gone by now. I'm just gonna go back up the way I came. <laughs> Leave the mines. Okay. Well, we got some pretty good stuff there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to my home. Explore the mine. Reach level 5. Ah, I could have done that, but I need more food. <laughs> I'll go grab me some food. And do that next time. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip back home. We'll probably see you guys in the morning because it's gonna take me a while to get there and uh, sell some stuff and stuff. So I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, never mind. Linus get to get the garbage. <laughs> rumble, rumble. I'm an old man. Hmm, don't sound like those raccoons are back at again. Filthy varmints. Hi. Bah! You turned up right at the moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those coons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare and never come back. Mm, grumble, grumble. I like it. Oh, shucks. It was me, I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with that? Uh, with what I'm doing? Mm. Nah, it's a shame for food to go to waste. Thanks, Blitz. I knew you were an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. You can go home. I promise I won't run Mr. George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the food for good. I'm just gonna go over here to the saloon, start it up, start it off saloon trash can, and rummage through that one. Wait. <laughs> I know you what you were doing, Linus. 
If you need food, just ask. Oh, I don't want anyone in Pelican ba Town to go hungry. I say for almost a Pelican Bay. Here, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in a spice in the, my spicy marinara sauce. Go on, take it. <laughs> Aww. Ah, morning, guys. Let's go see what's on the boob tube. Fortune teller. Uh, our spirits are in good humor. Extra luck. Hell yeah. Weather report. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for egg festival. Oh, that's right. The egg festival. I completely forgot about the egg festival. Oh, hi. Oh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of your ores you find, you'll ha need a furnace. Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Oh, thanks, buddy. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting instructions and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. I can make it work a lot easier. Well, I'm gonna head home. Take it easy. See you later, Clint. Oh, Bubbo! Oh my god, that's a lot bigger. <laughs> Hello, Blitz. You see this dog here? Oh my god. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor thing. Hey, seems to, li to like this place. Hey, um, uh, don't you think this farm could use a good dog? Yeah. Oh, his name is Yogi. I'm gonna keep his name Yogi. Oh, Yogi, you'll be a good pooch now, okay? <laughs> ah, I got a popo. We're holding egg festival in town square. You should arrive between nine to two if you'd like to. Wanna miss the annual egg hunt? Honestly, I don't care, but yeah, I'll be there. I got a puppo! Oh, he's so cute! Oh, you want the bone? Oh, uh, not the bone, not the pup. Not the ball! Pup! Not the ball! Good puppy! Okay. I do my morning chores. All right, we're gonna go back to the mine, try and get to level five. Where's the craft furnace? What does it take to craft a furnace? Copper, dang, 20 copper ore and 25 stone. I think I've got the stone. Dang, I need 20. Jesus, mother of man. Okay, so, now I'm gonna go back to the, hey, it's growing back already, cool. I'm gonna go back to the, um, third! To the mine and, uh, do that stuff. So, I'll see you guys when I'm back to the mine. Uh, hi? Abysmal. Not a single piece in this entire collection. What's this? You found something? Who lets me see it? Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Mm hmm? I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating a new artifact or mineral that you find? We could use groundbreaking discoveries to make groundbreaking discoveries together. Oh, and you know, who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the object to the front, to the front desk. Donate. Okay.
pet. Light shine amazing. That's pretty cool. God, hello. Ah, dust. <gasps> Freaking strawberries! Hell yeah. I never miss town festival. Love a good egg hunting. Oh my god, I got it. <laughs> Don't take my picture. You think everyone's ready for the egg hunt? Not yet. Still looking around. This is so cool. Emily, Jody, Leia. This is cool. Sure, let's start. I've never done this before. <laughs> I've never seen anybody do this before, so this is all completely new to me. Ah, there's... what's her name? It's time for the highlight of today's festivities. The annual leg spring... annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. What's the prize? Now, is everyone ready? Let the egg hunt begin! Um... Oh, that's a little bit. Ah, he can stuck. Eat my dust, kid. That prize is mine. Crap! There's one behind the house. Ah, oh, fifty seconds. Get you kids to pick up the litter this offensively. We'd have the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this side of the gym sea. <laughs> and now the winner of this year's egg festival egg hunt, thingy ma bobber dooper dobber dealy. Abigail How many did she get? I got seven. Here's your prize, Abigail. Enjoy. Well, that's it for this year's egg festival. Thank you for coming, everyone. How many eggs did she get? I got seven. So, how, did she get eight? Wow, it's now nighttime. And I watered my grass. Okay, well, ho. Ho, ho. Oh, where am I going to plant these strawberries? Crap, I need to make an extension. Because I want a little spot of four like these. So I need to branch this out in order to put a spot of four here and eventually I'll get rid of that tree stump. Dang it. I want to get those planted as soon as possible. Sorry. Uh, I could have just. Oh my god. 
Holy criminy. That's so much gold. Those freaking cauliflowers are money makers. Son of a bitch. Just for a regular potato, it's 80 gold. I was right. Regular for that. Golden parsnip, 52. God dang, that's insanity. Kapling. I was going to say, I don't know what she won. I don't know what she got. Uh, so close. Queen of Salt. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Salt, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for your secret cookbook. Oh, sweet dish. Coleslaw. Ah, envisioning bland mounds of lump, limp cabbage. You're not alone, but a great coleslaw can be so much more. Make sure you have juicy fresh cabbage for this one. Toss it with a little vinegar, a little mayonnaise, and you're all set. And that's crisp. You'll learn how to cook coleslaw. Great. Good humor today. Awesome. Weather for work. Rain all day tomorrow. Hot diggity. As much as I want to work on... Well. I can only plant three more parsnips because... Alright, let's put the regulars in. I'll sell the good ones. My dog is stuck on a tree. Alright, so. Ah! Ooh, jerk. Oh, 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 oh! Before I leave, there we go. Bounce off the wall. <laughs> Yark. What do you two have to have it? Aha! Way down up here. Okay. That was interesting. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to this episode of Stardew Valley out here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love this game to bits. I still want to do this for a live stream game. I just haven't had a chance to set up a day two live stream. So, in the next episode, or the next, when the live stream starts, we'll uh, do some more fun stuff. Uh, I don't know how far I'll actually be, because I'm going to keep playing this on camera, obviously. This is too much fun. I wonder how many bars it's going to take to upgrade, upgrade something. I don't know. 
Welcome back to this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Stardew Valley. That's tons of fun. Uh, lost myself in recording a couple times, so I got really quiet. But hopefully I cut a lot of that stuff out for you guys. So all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Hey! Peace out!